A mom killed her adopted daughter who had cerebral palsy because the woman had cancer and thought she was dying. Is it murder or mercy killing? Let's talk about this. It is Lisa and Chris again and today we are going to be talking about Bonnie Lytle's killed her adopted daughter. This happened in Chicago. The daughter Courtney had cerebral palsy and they said that she was profound. She could not talk. Courtney was 27 years old. Last May Bonnie had cancer and they said that she could die. She was not married and did not have family around to help her with Courtney. One day Bonnie felt that she would die any day. She felt that there would be anyone who could take care of Courtney so she felt that she had to kill her. They would be in heaven together. Bonnie gave Courtney a lethal dose of pills and took a dose herself. Well, Courtney died but Bonnie survived. Bonnie Liltz was charged for murder and she was sentenced to four years in prison. Is this murder or mercy killing? I think it was murder because of several reasons. They didn't say that Bonnie tried to get help for Courtney. This happened in Chicago so I know that there are several options that she could do. Yes. Illinois has serious financial issues, but I would bet someone would pull through for this woman. The second reason is from the research that I did Bonnie felt very bad one day and concluded that she would die the day and had to kill Courtney before her death. This was out of fears and a lack of reality. She was not thinking right. Sometimes life is really difficult, but does it allow you to kill another human being who was your own daughter? I don't think so. The sad thing was that Bonnie adopted Courtney so Bonnie took Courtney into her home so she would have a family who loves her. There are so many unknowns here to really comment this further. I thought it was a good topic to do a video on. If you want to say something about this topic, please leave it below this video. We do not need to fight over who was right in this case. We know that Bonnie needs help and prayers like so many people in this country need. It is scary what is going on in this world. Lisa, what do you think about this topic? Well, Chris, in previous in pre previous videos, we've talked about how stressful it could be to raise a disabled child, especially if they're profound. Um, and we said we said people should reach out, and we understand that people with disabilities need extra help, and sometimes they don't know. I would ask for help because, you know, maybe the pride gets in the way or um, it's just difficult. And sometimes if you don't know where to go, then what do you do? So do I think this is mercy? I wouldn't say that. And I still feel that what she did was wrong because any life is precious no matter what to do with it. So, that's what I think. We are disability awareness and we try to give useful information to people with disabilities and educate society in general about disability as a whole. If you like this video and aren't a subscriber, please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. If you have a question for us, Please leave it in the comments below this video. Here at Disability Awareness, we do two videos per week, one on Tuesday and one on Friday. So we will see you on Tuesday. It's Lisa and Chris signing off.